day. Today we're going to make a video driving the 2003 Ford Expedition after I've done my intake, exhaust, and I just recently installed my SCT X4 tuner and I've got it on to where it shows me eight different items of data. I received a lot of comments that were claiming that I'm getting a hot air intake and after everything I've done, it's quite the contrary. When I'm driving, my intake temperatures are around the same that they are outside. So I'm getting the same temperatures on my intake that I'm getting with the outside temperature. Now, if I'm just sitting in place, like in traffic or something, okay, the heat stays under the hood, so my intake temperatures will be a little bit higher. But when I start driving, when I start driving, you'll see my temperatures will drop. They will be the same as they are on the outside temperatures. So we're gonna take the Expedition for a little drive. And it's gonna be a little bit bumpy, as you can see. All right, here we go. As you can see from inside the truck, the exhaust sounds nice. See, now that I'm rolling, look at my intake temperatures dropping. See, my intake temperature is about the same as it is outside. Taking a little drive in the Expedition. Drive's nice. I can see all my data, all the different data readings I'm getting with the SCT X4 tuner, including the intake temp, which so many have commented that I'm getting a hot air intake when in reality, I have a cold air intake because where the air comes in, where I made the cut on my air cleaner, it's right by the factory air inlet area on the side of the fender. Also, I'm getting air from the underside of the truck, which is cold. So I'm getting cool air and also, I removed the, the insulation on the hood and that plastic cover that covers the intake manifold. So all that cool air goes across my engine as well. And my engine is a lot cooler as well. Like you would notice if you normally take a car and drive it for about 30 minutes and you open the hood, you feel all that heat hit you. Well, that's no longer the case with my truck. I could drive for 30 or 40 minutes, open the hood and it still feels cool because I've removed all those insulation things that keep all the heat under the hood, which also cools my intake that much more. So let's look again at the intake. When we started the drive, I was at 60. Now I'm at 50 degrees equal with the outside temperature now that I'm just driving along. So my intake temperatures stay within the same as the outside temperature or maybe a few degrees warmer when I'm sitting there idling without driving because naturally you got a hood over your engine so naturally your temperatures will be a few degrees or a little bit warmer but since I don't have any insulation on my engine or my hood anymore, my intake temperatures are a lot cooler than they would be if I left the insulation on the engine. So, let's take a, I'll pull over for a second and let's look at the temperatures. Okay, when we first started the drive, I was looking at 60 degrees on the intake temperature. Now it's 50 degrees. Battery voltage, math counts, 
Coolant temp is 174. Intake temp is in the low 50s. <clears throat> RPMs. So you can see my actual temperatures here. <clears throat> There's no guesswork. This is actual intake temperature. Exactly. So, there you go. There's the actual data on my intake temperature. Now that I'm just sitting there idling on the side of the road, it went up a couple degrees. But when you're driving, the intake temperature on my truck after I did my intake mod is the same as the outside temperature. Now when you stop, it'll raise a couple degrees, which is no big deal because all cars will have a high intake temperature when they're sitting there in traffic. But if you're driving, my intake temperature is exactly the same as the outside air with the modifications I have done. So hope this video helped some of you out and cleared up the air on some of you that thought my intake temperatures would be a lot higher and I'd have a hot air intake, which is not true. I indeed have a cool air intake while I'm driving. So there's the proof, it's in the data. Well, I just finished the drive and I opened my hood and you feel the air nice and cool because I removed that insulation there and I removed that engine cover there and you feel all around my engine compartment, it's cold. And I just been driving my car for 30 minutes. And most cars, after you open the hood after driving 30 minutes, the engine compartment's hot. And it's cool here. Cool air coming from underneath, as you can see. So, believe it or not, this is a cold air intake. There's the original place where the air came in. Cool air comes in. Cool air comes from the bottom. And some people were saying hot air comes from the radiator. Well, yeah, it does. But the radiator is way over here. And since I don't have hood insulation or an engine cover, all that radiator air just blows right through and goes out. It doesn't get stuck under the hood like on a factory car where you have that heat blanket there, that real hot heat blanket. And the engine cover, all the heat gets stuck under the hood and makes your intake hot because it heats up your intake tube and everything. My intake tube right now is almost ice cold. So... Basically, I have a cold air intake for free. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a great day and mad boosting.